wanting to look at a groin injury. So maybe you're doing some squats and you're feeling really good about it. And then the next day, you just feel like something isn't right in your inner thigh or groin area. So what exactly happened in this situation? So the reason why for some people injuries happen is for honestly a lot of different things but we're going to break this down into my personal opinion and injury how i look at it is usually there is too much volume that occurs and then there is also not enough recovery recovery that happens right so you're doing too much too much squats in this case and you didn't recover properly from the overall squatting. There also could be some weakness in the other areas. So when I say weakness in other areas, what happens sometimes is when you have weakness in other areas, your stronger areas start to compensate for those certain areas. So when this happens, those areas start to get overworked and the tendons and the ligaments all start to do much more to complete that overall movement, we'll say squatting in this example, which then it's going to bear a lot of the load on that specific area versus maybe the weaker area is kind of just not, uh, not much is happening to it. So it's not getting stronger. It's not getting the demands. It's not getting the stress. So your body's not having that stress equally distributed on the body when it's doing a squat, for example. So um, when it comes to the groin or the inner thigh, one of the things that this muscle actually does and helps to do is hip extension. So that's simply straightening your hips if they are in a bent position. So when you're standing up, your inner thighs actually to a small degree help you to straighten your hips or kind of squeeze your butt and move them forward, okay? So if you pulled your groin or your inner thighs when you are doing squats, it is likely because your quads are a little weak, okay? There could be a lot of things, but if your quads are weak, if you think about it, you're not going to be um, using your um, basically muscles properly to ultimately complete the movement, okay? So they're taking over too much in this situation. Um, your hamstrings could also be a little weak, and ultimately I would say uh, just trying to get uh, generally stronger in areas that aren't your inner thigh are probably going to benefit you greatly in this. Um, so they're taking over too much in place of the um, groin this in areas like your quads and your um, other aspects your glutes and even your hamstrings so you might think that oh I just need to stretch out my uh, inner thighs a lot my groin but what's really happening is there's just weakness in other areas so your inner thigh and groins are compensating thus you might be overdoing it and potentially pulling your inner groin in this situation um, another reason you might get injured and pull your groin during squats is that the exercise was novel. Okay, so uh, when you are doing a squat, normally you have your feet about hip width apart. So in this case, when we're talking about pulling your groin during a squat, your feet placement might have just been a little more wider than normal. And the wider your feet placement are in a squat, the more you are going to work your inner thigh. So if you were not used to doing this specific movement when it came to your workout routine, you might have been doing this novel exercise, the wide stand squats, for a lot of repetitions, a lot of volume, and simply put, your body was not adapted to this exercise at all. And when you're not adapted and used to this exercise at all, you could easily overdo it by just shooting up the volume, shooting up the intensity way too much too soon. Um, the way I want you to maybe think about this is that when you are first learning to back squat, 
you would not just max out on your back squat on the first day if you are starting a workout routine. Just like how if you were trying to do maybe some wide stance squats in this position, you would not or should not max out or do a bunch of really heavy repetitions and volume on that first day either because your body's not used to it, it's not able to adapt quite yet. Um, so if you are somebody who did pull your inner thigh or your groin during your squats, I would recommend lowering the weight on the squat, practicing good technique, improving your quad strength um, to help assist with the movement, um, maybe improve the flexibility of the groin or your hip adductors a tiny bit, um, but just generally, getting all the muscles stronger around your hip adductors or your groin will help to take off some of the pressure that the groin is getting and potentially the reason why it actually got uh, tweaked to begin with. So go ahead and give that section a like if that gave you some good added value.